Hi there, Ian Dixon here. How are you today? Got a cracking networking tip for you today to do with your 60 second pitch. So if you are somebody that goes networking, uh, st stay tuned. If you are a business owner and you don't go networking, stay tuned because you should be networking. Um, yeah, so your 60 second pitch is what we're going to be talking about today. If you are new to the channel uh, or somebody that's a returner but not subscribed, please do support us here at Business Talk. Uh, it absolutely makes a huge difference to us if you hit that subscribe button or ding the bell. We welcome your comments. But without further ado, let's talk about networking. So networking sits in the top three things that all business owners should do to go to market and has done since I started doing this job in 2004. It's one of the few things that has remained you know, in the top three things that business owners should do for multiple reasons, and uh, some of which you'll find within Business Talk. But today, I'm gonna be, be talking to you very specifically about your 60 second pitch. So um, it kills me, to be honest. I network every single week, and I see people stand up. I see the same people stand up and have seen them stand up for years and years and really don't do themselves justice with their pitch. And I just really thought maybe I should do a little video, maybe three, five minutes that will help. So here's a couple of tips that might help with your 60 second pitch. The first thing is I'm gonna to talk to you about my, if I can do this, um, let's do it this way, my 330 rule, my 330 rule. When you, you'll do this, same as I do, when somebody in the room stands up, they have, the same as you do, they have three seconds to earn the right for me to continue listening for 30 seconds, to earn the right to get three minutes, to get 30 minutes, to get a three hour sales meeting, for example, or a 30 minute sales meeting. 3.30, 3.30, 3.30. It is literally often less than three seconds, but the 3.30 rule rules, if you like, is a goodie. So three seconds to earn the right for 30 seconds, 30 seconds to earn the right for three minutes, three minutes to get half an hour. So with that in mind, when you stand up, know that at an emotive level, you've got to try and connect either uh, in, in an emotional way or in a disruptive way, you've got to capture everybody in that room. And if you don't, you're, you might as well just have three seconds. The, the 60 seconds is kind of lost. Um, when I see people on their phones, when, people, when we're doing the 60 second round, uh, when I see people prepping their 60 seconds, because you know so many of us just turn up at networking events unprepared, um, I think to myself, who's to blame here? Is it the people in the audience for not paying attention? You know, how rude. Or is it the person standing up's job to capture them in that first three to five seconds? And I am one of life's 100% responsibility people. And so as a communicator, it's my job to disrupt you to want to listen to me. If you're on your phone or you're prepping your 60 seconds, I shouldn't be leaning on you to pay attention to me. My job should be to deliver something of enough value very quickly so that you want to continue to listen to me. 3.30, 3.30, 3.30. Right, so we've got several things here. One is that we know that we need to get them immediately. We also know that we, the three seconds essentially gets us 30 seconds. So then within that 30 seconds, we need to make sure we're sharing enough uh, of value and interest to keep them around to the full minute or 40 seconds if you're a four networker. And uh, the other thing is to be respectful of everybody's time and not to overrun on your 60 second pitch. It's rude, it is inappropriate, and you don't need more than 60 seconds. And if you want to know and you want to pre prepare a 60 second pitch, approximately 150 words is a 60 second pitch. 
So if you were to type a few out, and I was challenged by my coach back in 2004, I'd never been networking, and she said to me, I want you to write out 20 60 second pitches that are all different. And I said, you're joking, it's like being at school typing out lines. Uh, but it was a really powerful exercise. Um, I created boxes on an A4 sheet that would only hold about 150 words. And um, in fact, you obviously in Word, you've got your word counter. And I knew that roughly how much 150 words would deliver. And now when I go networking, I can write very succinctly. I'll know that that's about 60 seconds. So, so 150 words is 60 seconds. Be passionate and emotive about what you're sharing because if you're not passionate and emotive about what you're sharing why on earth would people be passionate and emotive about your product or service so because if you if you're not how can you expect them to be now i know some of us aren't particularly passionate people so it's not easy to deliver a 60 second pitch in a passionate way but there are definitely ways in which you can get that passion and emotion across um, in that in that time frame, because then you're creating the importance of that is you're then creating this connection with your audience. So, another really good trick is to um, engage with the audience to ask them a question. One of the biggest no-no. So, like you've got six minutes into this video, and I'm going to give you a real big no-no. So, thank you for staying this long. Don't ask a rhetorical question. It like, oh no, I hate them. Like, it's the tumbleweed pitch. Um, a lot of coaches do it. And it, it like, when I hear it coming, it, I just almost wanna cover my eyes because I just know that you're gonna end up with tumbleweed down the room. So, so a big no-no is don't ask rhetorical. I might do another video just on this so because it might get lost in this video. We're seven minutes in. There you go, 3.30, 3.30, 3.30, emotion and passion, never be rhetorical, 150 words is 60 seconds, hope you found that useful, please do subscribe and ding the bell, 300 videos coming this year, that's a lot of content, uh, we will be uploading every single day, business talk is where all your business solutions will be, we look forward to catching up with you on the next video, bye for now.